Schreier is putting student safety top of mind this year. For the first time in district history, it's bringing armed school resource officers to its elementary campuses. Talisa Hampton joining us now with more on this. And Talisa, this is certainly a big move for the district. Yeah, Bob, it is, but Greenbrier School District told me it's a necessary one. They're hoping by adding in the extra safety, it will keep their students protected. Do y'all have anything y'all need help with? Inside a Greenbrier Elementary School, a new face is welcomed. I love serving my community. That's why I got in law enforcement. Faulkner County Deputy Adam Coy stepped into another chance to protect those he loves. My role models, they were SROs, and I think that's what made me get into it. Following the deadly shooting at an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas, Greenbrier Superintendent Scott Spainhauer knew they needed to do more to protect kids. We try really hard to follow the recommendations of uh, the Arkansas uh, Safety Commission, the governor's uh, panel that he's put together, and they recommend an armed um, uh, presence wherever kids are in school. Now for the first time in Spring Hill and Wooster Elementary, they've hired an armed school resource officer. Response time's a little bit slower out here than it, the, the schools in town. Rather it's in the classroom, outside, or in the hallways. The district hopes the new hires will keep the kids protected. Job one is, is absolutely the safety and security of the kids and staff on campus. With cameras and monitored access doors already in place, a patrol car in the parking lot is aimed at making others aware. When you pull up and you see a police car sitting in front of your school, it makes you think twice. Corey also plans to help kids physically and mentally. If I'm able to reach one kid, I feel like that's going to be success out of this job. If I know that they can go home and know that I'm going to be here for them. Yeah, you forgot the nose. Now, Spainhauer says although they only hired two new SROs, it puts the district at a total of four. They already had a resource officer at the high school and junior high school. However, they are looking to hire three more armed resource officers, one going to the middle school, and the other two would be going to the remaining elementary schools. Reporting in the studio, I'm Talisa Hampton. Back to you.